You know those really smooth 3D printed time lapses where you see the layers one by one? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can make one. You need three essential components. A camera with a remote switch, a 2.5 millimeter audio jack, uh, which looks like this. It almost looks like the one you'd use in your phone or in your laptop, but it's a bit thinner. So it's 2.5 instead of 3.5. And then you also need a switch mechanism like this. This will actually bump against the printer head. And setting up the time-lapse feature can be done in Cura by going to extensions, post-processing, modifying G-code, and looking for time-lapse when you scroll down. Then in the time-lapse panel, the only setting that we really need to change is the retraction distance because it's set at zero and I usually put it at six for my prints. Then we close, we slice, and you're ready to go. You can follow along with what I'm doing, even if you don't have all the equipment that I have, because essentially all you need is a knife, the three components I just showed you, and maybe some tape to insulate the wires once we've, we're done cutting them open and putting them back together. But I'll show you the proper way that it's done, and you can just follow along by twisting the wires together instead of soldering them together. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do is to take our knife and cut the 2.5 millimeter audio cable. First, we're gonna strip the wires. So we're gonna strip those as well to make it easy on ourselves, like that. And now we can use these two to connect them to the switch mechanism. So first I'm gonna plug in the wire. Now I'm gonna check where I need to connect these wires to make it trigger. There you go. So the white and the yellow one in the middle and the bottom connection. This is a crafting then switch cap, which I'm gonna paint and put over the switch. So I have my own customized switch mechanism. There you go. So we've got a crafting then switch now. So I twisted the wires together and now I just want to double check that this is the correct way. So I'm going with white in the middle and yellow on the right. So now I need to solder them together. What you can do is put this through the hole and twist it together and that will be enough if you don't have a soldering iron, but I'm going to solder them just to make sure that it has a strong connection. The final step is to attach your switch to your printer. Now there are two ways of doing this, with glue or with magnets like I've done. I used magnets and we attach them to the side carriage of your x-axis and we have to make sure that your trigger actually gets triggered when the nozzle bumps it. So when you're sure that you have the right alignment, you can glue your magnets to the side and add another two magnets on top of those where you'll have to glue your switch against. Like this, you don't have a misalignment when you place it. You check to make sure that it's correct. And that's it. Your switch is ready. Now you only have to plug it into your camera and boom, that's it. Okay, so that's all it takes to make the time-lapse clicker. Now, let me show you in action. The glue has dried up by now and I can just take it off whenever I want and put it back on whenever I need it. It's easy as that. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this. See you soon and keep on crafting.